Cells can be used to analyze and present data that you want to include in your Word 2016 document. If you want to begin using tables, you're going to need to know how to create one and insert your data. In this document, I would like to put the data presented here into a table. In order to do this then, I need a table with three rows and one, two, three, four, five columns. I'm going to insert a table then by going to the insert column and just underneath I have the table tool. When I click on this button I see a drop down menu and here I can select the number of cells that I want to include. So if I want five columns I can go across to five and if I want three rows I should go down to three. Here I can preview the size of my table and then I can insert it simply by clicking on the bottom right of the columns. If I go down now, you can see that I have my 5 by 3 table. Automatically, my cursor will be taken to the top left cell. And here I can start writing in the headings. Item, quantity, description, unit price, and total. To move between the columns, I don't need to use my mouse. I can simply press the tab button at the end of each column. Similarly, to move between rows, I can use my directional arrows. So I can press down to go down, and I can even press across to go left or even right. I can also, however, use my cursor and just click inside a cell in order to go there. I'm now going to enter my second row of information, moving between the different cells using the tab button. And then once I reach the end, I'm going to use the down button and then the left directional arrow in order to go to the bottom left cell and then enter the remaining values. And you'll see that my table, table one, is now complete. It's also possible to create a table using information that you've already typed. So here above this table, the information that I'd already prepared is split, as you can see, into three rows and then five different columns which are separated by commas. Using this formatting, I can very easily put this information into a table. I can do this by going to insert once again and again going to the table drop down menu. However, just below the table tools, you can see that I have the option convert text to table. This means that if I have pre-prepared text, then I can put it into a table. If I click here, I'll see that automatically the number of columns and rows for my table has been set. So because I have five items separated by commas, automatically the number five is in the columns. Because I have three different lines of items, then I've got three rows automatically here. Below this, I have a number of other options. So I can choose the auto fit behavior. So whether the contents is automatically made to fit the size of my page. And I can change between auto or different sizes of column width. Here, I'm going to set a 2.5 centimeter column width, which was fixed for all of them. And below, I can confirm that it's commas separating the different items in my table. If, for example, you're using tabs instead, or paragraphs, or another symbol, then you can enter this here. Once this is done, I can go to OK, and you'll see that very quickly, all the information is put into a neat table with the exact column width, which I specified just now. As I now have two tables with the same information, I might want to delete one. In order to delete a table, you should select it with a simple click and then go to the handle on the top left-hand corner of the table. If you click here, this will select the table in its entirety. And in order to delete the table, you simply need to press the backspace button on your keyboard now and the table will be deleted. So here you've seen how to create a table either using the quick table creation tools and then inserting the values that you want or through using the convert text to table function in Word 2016.